patterns of communication, mind frames, emotions that we have inside of us. The goal is life mastery. Do you hear me? This is the ultimate goal. What else do we want? It's life mastery. What does life mastery look like? My definition of it is that you have mastery over five things in your existence. The first one, sex, relationships, family, love life. That's the first area. The second area is your body, relationship to food. Who feels that their relationship to food is not optimized right now? Right? Overeating, eating junk food, what happens? It's a self-destructive process. It's a slow suicide. Smoke, drink, I mean, have all sorts of patterns that are not harmonized and not serving you. So the body, the second one. The third one is the mind, the thoughts, the emotions, the inner game. That's the third area. The fourth area is your material foundation, your money, relationship to money. Who loves money? You love money? Who doesn't love money? So, you want more money, right? You want more money in your life? As much as you need. Okay. So, there is a, a, a fundamental conflict going on. It is that when we think about money, very often we have lots of negative associations with money. So we think about money, we want more money, but at the same time we are not comfortable with money. So I encourage you to look at money just as energy. Money is beautiful. <clears throat> just consider that. You can think what you want, right? But consider it. Try to see how it feels if you look at money as energy, and then you cut or you separate the neg negative emotional association that you have with money, and you realize that those negative emotional associations are not about money. It's about the negative use of money. Okay, so money is another one. This is just a side track a little bit. Then the fifth area that we have to master is the relationship to the invisible, to the spirit. What's the main cause of wars on this planet? Religion. Beliefs. It's crazy. It's supposed to make us happy. It's supposed to give us love. So we have these five areas, right? I repeat. The first one, relationships, sex, love life. You can include friendships, all the dynamics that you have socially. Then there is the, the body, and there is the mind. Then there is the money and material base. And then there is the spirit. So if you score anywhere from 80% to 100% in all these areas, then you can consider yourself a life master. It means that none of these areas are issues anymore in your life. So that's what we are aiming for. So where, where is pick up in all that? Where does everything that we have been learning this weekend stand in all that? All of these, what we have been learning, all these practices, it's a part of the first area, relationships, sex, love life. It's a part of that. And it's an even more specific part which has to do with the approaches that you have to women. Pick up. It's quite interesting because it, you see where it fits and you see how important it is to get that right. Because otherwise, you get frustrated. So, vital sex contains pick up. It means that you keep expanding, right? So you have a pick up a bigger sphere around that, which is uh, vital sex and relationships, and then you have these five spheres, or five rays of incarnation. 